Hello beautiful people, what a wonderful world we live in. In this video we explore Stone Town, the oldest part and the main city of Zanzibar in Tanzania, east of Africa. Stone Town is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is relatively safe with cameras on most streets and has so much to offer. Today we woke up early to catch this amazing sunrise. Please enjoy. Absolutely love Zanzibar, it's beautiful. Amazing. It's crazy to see what some people, what their mornings look like compared to others. Either way, the struggle is real and the, the hustle and bustle is happening everywhere. Just different pictures. We're having breakfast, in case you're wondering, and Ibra is our lovely <laughs> waiter. Yes. And um, he's just explaining to us what we're having. Uh, I'll show you quickly what we're having. We have uh, parachichi. Yes, parachichi is Avocado. avocado in then that's obviously in Swahili and we have a special one known as a zaituni this is zaituni and that tastes like a sweet potato the meaning of yes the meaning of zaituni sometimes we use it as a name zaituni but the meaning of zaituni is a beautiful woman like an angel oh wow I'm Thank feeling you. beautiful already even if it's not meaning me <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. When you eat that, you be like an angel. Okay, so, all right. I, I, I look forward to eating it. Yes. <laughs> so this is a zaituni that um, it's our first time basically tasting it. It is a local fruit, I'm guessing, from Zanzibar. And it does taste um, like a potato, kind of like, as well as a, like a mix of potato and avocado. It's very interesting, but it's sweet. It's beautiful. So definitely, when you're here, Taste it because you probably won't taste it again. <laughs> so, breakfast is served. I've got egg or boiled egg, some um, roasted vegetables, kind of like with a whole lot of um, yummy spices avocado, egg, and then we have some pancakes um, with some dips there. And then Lawrence, has <laughs> who has already gotten into it. <laughs> Um, it's got uh, a Spanish omelette with cheese. Can we just hold it just yes, place? yes, that's it, that's it. All right, enough. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Welcome to our home, let's say, for uh, the next two days here in Zanzibar. Um, we're so happy to be here because the place is just incredible. Um, there's just so much culture like and so much architecture and just so much beauty so um, when you walk in you basically are greeted by the entire room which Lawrence is about to show you okay well I will move around look at that so coming through to the right hand side I've got a mirror here which I think they were thinking of me um, because the lighting is actually pretty good through here when you're doing your makeup as a girl and so you've got a seat here you can put your makeup on there this is a lock that we use when you go outside you yeah very old school but old school is good <laughs> we've got here a basket with beach towels which you basically can carry um, as they told us you don't even have to have your own bag because they've provided one you've got an umbrella there if, we, if it's raining um, We've got a small little, um, basically a living area where you can, I suppose, invite some, you know, some friends. Something that I've never experienced anywhere else in any hotel before is they give you a phone um, to kind of like use when you go walking around, um, and you can call them on on reception at any time if you're lost, and they can give you directions. So really, really handy. Love it. So, you basically have um, a bathtub slash a shower here and so they've provided us here with some soaps and we've got lime, moringa, coconut, uh, natural soap, we've got cinnamon, sea sand as well as the eucalyptus, they all smell, mm, they all smell so yummy, oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I feel actually quite hungry at the moment. 
you know, just smelling them. So I can't wait to indulge in this. Into the toilet. This is probably the biggest toilet I've ever been in. And um, yes, and we've got his and hers, you know, vanity sinks. Is that what you call them, babe? We call them that. Um, and then through here to a tiny little balcony, which is so beautiful with the plants. And we get a pretty view, a different view. Emerson Spice was a merchant's house that was restored from the 1830s into a very stylish boutique hotel. It has two restaurants, the Secret Garden and the Rooftop Tea House, Stone Town's renowned restaurant offering yummy food and beautiful views. We stayed in the Camille room which was my favourite with yellow curtains, French doors and a few big windows. This left the room feeling airy and bright and I definitely lived my colourful adventure in it. The streets of Stone Town are narrow but full of life and culture. There are multiple shops with lots of handmade goodies and produce. Stone Town's architecture is a fusion of Arabic, Indian, European and African influences. It was also cool to find a church despite the city being predominantly Muslim. Moving on, the street food is not the, to be missed. Its aromas linger around the streets and it feels just like home. So many artists displaying their creativity and it's literally a fiesta. The Darajani Bazaar is the main market. It's mainly a food market but there are also shops selling other goods. It's a fun place to go shopping as well as socialize with locals. A must do in Stone Town. So we've heard a lot about this place. It's called Lukaman. It's over right over there. This is a highly recommended restaurant. So uh, we're gonna check it out. And Lawrence, you can do us the honors. Come on, come on. Basically, this is where the locals and tourists all come together. So, what do we got here? So, um, we have got pilau rice. We've got some. Um, I think it's um, it's a sweet potato leaves, um, and then we've got uh, beef curry, chapati, which is a local bread that's made um, in East Africa generally. We eat it as well. And then we've got uh, vegetables in coconut sauce. Yeah. And then over here, what do we have, babe? I think there was uh, watermelon, ginger, passion fruit. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, something along those lines. And I think here we have passion fruit and mango. So yeah, we're gonna have fun with like this. So it's a set dinner and it's a five course meal, it's 40 US dollars. So we'll tell you the verdict later on. But that, oh my gosh, babe, oh my, okay. This lighting, this lighting is lit. We read a few reviews about having a five course meal at Amazon Spice and we decided to try it. It was on the pricier side compared to most restaurants in Zanzibar. The service was amazing. The food was tasty and full of new flavors. Unfortunately, there were limited vegetarian options. Overall, I recommend it if you're into seafood or eat meat in general. Welcome to Saida Spa and Hotel. There's windows all across. Love the curtains. Important amenities such as a toilet and a bathroom. We've got this beautiful bed. I just love the decoration. Then we've got a little balcony, so you pull that out to open this. And, pull that and it's raining. Love it. A new day, a new hotel. The Saida Hotel and Spa is a boutique hotel in Stone Town with affiliations to the past royal heritage. 
It embodies the spirit of romance and is decorated with art collections from all around the world. To kick off the day, we're starting with breakfast, because hey, food is life. We love the freshly prepared food and beverages. It was very tasty, coupled with wonderful service from the staff, and we'll be sure to visit again. Leave him to kick. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go, kick to me. <laughs> This is uh, such an amazing project right here. Doing a whole lot of shoots on, you know, just the kids playing ball on the street in the streets of Stone Town. Such a fun thing to be a part of with Afro Bougie. <laughs> Nadia is secretly taking photos. Yes, BTS. Oh, 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 hello. Look at this spot right here. This is going to be an epic photo. So we are heading to the beach now. Oh my gosh, it's looking so fab. Locals and tourists all commemorating. So this looks to be a um, different type of sport here. Kids just do backflips and everybody's watching. Looks like fun though. Mm. Everyone cheering on. Watching the sunset. One of the things that I absolutely love about Seda Spa and Hotel um, is you can see both the sunset as well as sunrise. Sunrise comes on the other side and the sunset uh, sets on this side. Um, and these guys were so kind enough to actually um, make this little table for us. Really, really kind of them uh, because it's obviously a private terrace but they've been uh, able to let us to be able to shoot here and also enjoy a nice drink here. For Odani Gardens beam with food market most nights. It's a popular place for local people and tourists alike. You will find all kinds of delicious foods and drinks to indulge in and forever remember your Zanzibar trip because of it. It's located right along the Indian Ocean where you can feast and then take a stroll along the beach and keep that body healthy. Oh, what a happy life. Thank you for watching and please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to see more from us.